Global markets had a generally decent start to the month, but things took a turn for the worse mid-month when Trump thrust global trade wars back into the spotlight. The US followed through on their April proposal to implement tariffs on $50 billion of Chinese imports. China retaliated with tariffs of their own on US agricultural imports, which in turn prompted Trump to up the ante with a proposal of another $200 billion of Chinese imports, which could be subjected to tariffs. With trade wars already weighing on Chinese markets, the release of some weak Chinese economic data compounded things, leaving Chinese stock markets down 8% for the month. Elsewhere in emerging markets, Brazilian markets remained under pressure. The Brazilian government conceded to fuel subsidies in order to end a trucking strike, which had crippled the country for a couple of weeks, and while it was enough to get the country functioning again, it was at the expense of investor sentiment, and even with the central bank intervening to support the currency, the rail still ended the quarter down 15%, and the Brazilian stock market ended the month down 5%. Other global central banks were also back in action in June with the US Fed delivering another much anticipated interest rate hike and the European Central Bank confirming an end to their quantitative easing program by year end, though with no rate hikes coming from them until at least the last quarter of 2019. Oil had another decent month, driven higher by further surprising drawdowns in US oil inventories, though the rest of the commodity suite weren't as fortunate, with agricultural commodities caught in the crossfire of trade wars and industrial metals suffering from fears related to the poor economic data out of China. In spite of the turmoil, US equity markets managed to eke out a small positive return for the month, buoyed largely by the interest rate sensitive sectors, consumer staples and real estate, which benefited as risk aversion kept a lid on yields. If you have any questions on this or to invest with Anchor, please contact us on sales at anchorcapital.coza or visit our website, www.anchorcapital.coza.